Hey, it's Mimi from himimi.com. Several people have asked me and posted on my videos about Neat comments about opening up Neat software and everything looks fine. Then you try to scan one receipt or document and Neat just shuts down completely. Maybe you get an error code, maybe you don't. I'm, try, I'm going to try to show you how I resolve this. I, I'm not saying that this is gonna solve the problem for you. I'm just trying to remember what happened back in December and this is what I think took place that solved the problem for me. They asked, they sent me this email and they asked me in the chat to get this, we need to see your error log. So I think that's what this is. He or she got this information from me. Then they came back on chat and I think what they had me do was go into my documents and then neat data. And then here is what was inside that neat data folder. And I think what they had me do was drag this QSP to the desktop. And let me show you why. If I go in my current QSP, there's nothing, no images in the images folder, right? Let's see if there's anything in temp. Nothing in temp, nothing in images. But what they had me drag to the desktop, let's look at that back in December. If you look in images, there were some stuck images. This was probably one stuck image and then three images behind it that, that got stuck in the traffic jam. So what they had me do is drag that out of the neat data folder, bring it to the desktop. So that basically cleared it out. Let me go back to that. So that cleared out this images folder. And then the next time I opened up neat, the traffic jam was cleared. I think it just created a whole new QSP file on its own. I don't remember them asking me to make a new empty QSP folder or anything like that. So now that is how I remember it. This was two months ago. That's how I remember it. And that solved the problem instantly. Now, I can't say that that's going to solve the problem for you. You can try it. And if it doesn't work, you can always drag the QSP folder back into your neat data folder. I'll show you what it looks like again. And um, here's QSP. So you can try if you want to not contact them. If you want to try dragging that out to the desktop and then just reopening your neat desk program, see if it works. If it doesn't work, take it from the desktop and drag it back into this neat data folder and then follow my steps to use the online chat support. That's my suggestion to you if you are experiencing this same problem.